Good morning, fans, Privateer FX. Coming at you Friday, 18 Ds. You might call it the last uh, sort of classic trading day of the year, although Christmas on a uh, Friday next year, um, and with so many people working from home, I do believe there will be some action Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday next week, and of course, the Brexit bullshit machine uh, is going to take this to the very, very last notional moment. So if you're trading Brexit or you're managing long or short, you're probably going to have to pay attention uh, till the end of the year, the proper end of the year. Anyway, Friday today, calendar's eh, medium. You got some Canadian shit at 2.30. Um, DOJ policy stuff overnight. I'm sure they didn't do anything. Um, retail sales in the UK. Nobody cares. IFO today. Uh, Euro yen's in the crosshair, so let's take a look at that first and foremost. Dollar yen uh, made new lows. Failed yesterday. It was tricky. I mean, it closed it. Closed it 08. And so it's pretty bearish close, but. We think this dollar yen is going to turn. We think this euro yen is going to bust. Bust a move. You want it. You got it. Ooh, baby. Uh, 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 uh. That's some 90s dance floor music. Um, I have a feeling 72 is the bingo number here. 126.72. I don't know why Euro Yen's going to go higher. The story makes absolutely no sense, except for the fact that Euro's bid, Dollar Yen, is too far offered. Could be rates driven on the Dollar Yen side. Um, could be just Euro cruising higher because the U.S. wants, um, tacitly wants a way lower dollar. This is something, this is a story that's starting to play in my head. This is a long term trend line. It's a six-year job, so it's not super accurate, but it tells you a story here, right? Bang, bang, bang. Last week's high uh, was 74. Today we traded 70. The week before, high was 68. Uh, now we're at 60, 61. Um, this, this high here in uh, August was... I don't remember this high. Normally I remember these things. 07, 127, 07. So it's a bit further up. Uh, collecting Euro Yen on low ones looks interesting. Maybe add through the highs at the London Open. Um, we like Euro Yen higher. Cable, you want to buy low ones here? Don't believe the bullshit hype. I don't know, Boris is crying in his soup. Oh, it's not working. If they can't close this deal on fisheries, it'll now become a national embarrassment for both sides. So um, I do believe they're going to close this deal. Super tricky to trade. Uh, we're managing a really, really small. Um, but it's been profitable so far. Sterling long. Um, we try and reload on low ones with the idea that anytime it goes down 200 points, you buy. So what was the high here? 136.26. So 134, sort of 50.25. We'll be back in action. Um, and we still have sort of tiny core long that we kind of trade on a daily basis. So every time we see 50 pips on extension we sell and then we try and get it back 50 pips cheaper we don't look too closely at it because even if you're a 30 year price action watcher which I am um, there's a there's a hysterical nature to this news driven price it, it's no point even watching so if you look at it right now and you say well fair value is 135.35 just for instance you just go, well, at 136.35, it'll be stretched, depending on the news flow. And at 134.80, I'll be interested in, in buying, uh, because that's the side that I like. And if selling is the side you like, it's the same methodology. 
uh, a little bit squirrely, not great VAR, it's not super professional, um, more for long-term accounts that can handle more volatility, but um, this is the way we're looking at cable. Might uh, drive you insane trading cable. It's kind of I don't know which is worse, trading cable or dollar Swiss. Dollar Swiss. I don't think it's going to go down much more um, for the year. Euro Swiss may um, may help keep this bid, um, but I also don't think it's going to cruise up. Uh, I don't think it's going to do anything. There's no point in even looking at it. Dollar yen, on the other hand, we like. Uh, we were nibbling on the long side yesterday that it amounted to basically dick haul. And then we closed it at the uh, at the close. We didn't want to be long overnight. Here we are, um, you know, 28 points higher. No drama, but annoying. Um, when did that happen? Tokyo Open, of course. Uh, well, it's in the high 50, I bet. Yeah, 48. This could get some legs, could be driven by any number of things, I don't know. Uh, but like we said, we think Euro Yen is going to go higher. So this is a focus for us. Maybe pick some Euro Yen, cheapies and Euro Yen up on a dip to 50. Um, we talked about Euro Yen. Dollars are this. This is so overdone. It's. Um, fairly spooky but it's basically an ES trade right so in the same fashion that we're not like crazy short ES we don't even have a position we're just waiting for this to turn um, this is a currency traders ES trade so we did trade down to 62 oh my god 63 yesterday Whew, man crazy Waiting for this to turn, just like we're waiting for ES to turn. When it does, we will spring into action. Until then, we just leave it alone. Dollar Max, pretty much the same type deal. Could turn at any time. This is probably going to be the telling uh, point 2025, 20, 2026. 20, not much to do down here. We're not fading this. Aussie, we drew this at FOMC. Looks like an an okay line or whatnot, but um, come off a bit, Aussie here. Seventy nine is the pivot on the way up. We talked about it. Um, this was the FOMC post FOMC, so this was the Thursday jump number if you want to be sure wait till you're below you need prices below 75.79 she looks like she wants to turn but we've seen this before with Aussie so we're not getting too carried away euro is nothing Aussie yen double top up here 79 neckline down here 813 nothing to do here uh, Euro sterling. This is our interesting technical lows now. Like, if you were a long-term CTA, you would just stick a a stop loss at 89.80 and just say, "Call me if done." And if Brexit is done, you manage your slippage and you see where you're filled. And if Brexit is not done, you leave a super tight stop, or you even might just scratch it. <clears throat> this is like a standard operating trading procedure for any of these type guys triple bottom down here there's a story behind it could be news driven at any time if you just use your imagination at, at, the, at its most basic level if it's trading at 89.80 there must be some pretty fucking good news out there the only good news possible out there for sterling is brexit the place is a shithole now um so you can assume there's some positive Brexit news. Then you just have to digest how positive is it? Is it some like drunk cunt wanking on the news wires? Or is it uh, proper Brexit? Anyway, 89.80 uh, for Brexit people. 
key we had, and we don't really care. I wonder if this is going to turn. Six fifty, the low on the year. Huh. Dollar could go higher if we get one of these weird, like dollar uh, year-end funding squeezes. Some people in some corners of the foreign exchange world are talking about this. I don't think it's happened. I don't think it's going to happen. Liquidity is just rampant. Financial conditions are the easiest they've been kind of in forever. Um, but this is something, this is a story to watch to see if it rears its ugly head. Gold yesterday, we talked about it up through 75, uh, went up to 02, now down at 84. Should take out some stops below 75. You want to buy this today between 65 and 75. 1865 to 1875, you want to buy gold. Here's our intrepid stock market. Kind of looks like the Aussie N chart, right? Is this a double top? Is this your neckline? Maybe. First hurdle we got to get through is like 35.93. What was the low the other day? Oh, yeah, this is it probably. 91.75. So this is your pivot here. This is very similar to the 79 level, 75, 79 in Aussie. Um, not riding any horses in ES now. We do have the sort of stretch high sales in. So you take the either the five-day average of the standard average true range or the standard deviation and you might sell up there today that comes in at um, 3744 so we would we would fade up at 37 between 40 and 50 um, but we're also but we're not going to actively smash this through 91 either um, We'll just be watching to see how this thing moves, and maybe Aussie will be our horse through 79 rather than ES. We're much more comfortable with uh, FX than we are with futures. Bitcoin. How you gonna do it if you really don't wanna dance? By standing on the wall. Get your backs up off the wall, baby. Get your backs up off the wall, baby. Um, there has some many meanings to that uh, little line in that song. Um, Bitcoin. An annihilation. 23.8 the high. Wow. Rock and roll, baby. Core long. I wonder if we're, we're going to regret uh, easing out of those 19s, or actually we eased out at 18.4 some, um, thinking we're going to get back some at 12. We probably will. This thing will probably go down to 10,000 um, on some idiotic maneuver. But right now it is Viagra solid. Anyway, Urien's our horse today. We're watching this equity market, obviously. Um, Aussie, 75, 79 is an interesting pivot. See how she goes. Uh, it's Friday. I wish you all luck. Um, and voila. Have a good one. Ciao. Ciao, ciao, ciao.